Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jason Pizzino. Today, we are looking at more huge cryptocurrency news. After the flash crash on Sunday, it looks like the dust has settled. All of the big news headlines are coming back and it just feels like a repeat of the last three months. More huge cryptocurrency news, but how high is it really going to carry us? Let's check out the news and the charts in today's video. If you enjoy the video, let me know. Hit the like button down below. It goes a very long way to helping out the channel. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon so you can beat the scammers to the video and comment down below before they get here and ruin the party. Let's start. The entire cryptocurrency market cap is at $2 trillion. Just checking this out on coin market cap. Bitcoin, $1 trillion. It actually slipped below $1 trillion. We never thought we'd see it again, but we were there, 1 trillion. Ethereum, 267. We're looking like Ethereum just needs to do four times the volume of Bitcoin and we could flip Bitcoin. Controversial. Binance, 90 billion. XRP still holding its fourth place title and Dogecoin, the beloved dog, is starting to slip out of the top five. Yesterday was Dogecoin day. Didn't have the effect that everyone was waiting for. But if you look at yesterday's video, we talked specifically of that chart pattern playing out and a potential non-push to the upside. Anyway, today's video, I'm looking at two of my favorite projects, Uniswap, Chainlink. This is one of the projects that I was looking at buying on the dip and consolidating some of my portfolio into, just like I consolidate into Ethereum, getting rid of some of the smaller cryptocurrencies. This is something that I mentioned to the Facebook group. So if you want to know more about that, it's the Investor Accelerator membership. Link to that is in the description down below. And while you're down there, if you want something free, join our newsletter. Free newsletter comes out every second week, cryptocurrency and investing. So I've got news on Uniswap and Chainlink today. Let's look at the fear and greed index as we do with every video, just to see what everyone is doing in the market. Still at greed. We touched into extreme greed and now back to greed. Is this the Bitcoin top? I'm not quite sure just yet. I'm not convinced on it, but we did have a nice low. I'm just not sure we would have the volume to push us through, which means I think the greed is probably going to stay in this region for at least the foreseeable future. Obviously, if we get a pump to the upside on Bitcoin, then everything just goes into extreme greed overdrive. Cardano news first. Now you've got the news of Africa and Cardano. Watch our Africa special coming up. So this is on the 29th. All you have to do is just type in Africa Cardano and you can uh, watch this live as they are playing it out there. 29th of April, 1630 UTC. Now I've talked about GODB on the channel before. It is a sub $20 million market cap. So disclaimers first, There, when these uh, cryptos are so small in the market cap, Obviously, the market cap can be very volatile. This can slip from 20 million to 10 million in a blink of an eye and then skyrocket to 50 million in the next second. That's because they are very illiquid. So there's a disclaimer. If you happen to look further into this and it's something that you like, just be aware that these smaller cryptocurrencies can do that with the market cap. Now, GODB has their fair launch of Odin coming out tomorrow. Now, GODB is the decentralized peer-to-peer -peer big data sharing ecosystem, which returns value to its creators, the user. So GODB is basically looking to use the data that people are willingly providing. It's anonymous, then you can sell it and earn GODB token. I think this is gonna do pretty well, especially with the data space. Now, we are basically using our data every day and Facebook is collecting it, Google's collecting our data, and we basically don't see a cent from it. We get nicer looking ads, which we spend money on. Whereas GODB is trying to flip that and use our data and pay us to use our data. Now it's anonymous as well, which is something that I like. I don't want them to know who I am if they're using my data. I have to go and trust that. But at the end of the day, this is what the project aims to achieve. And of course, it is a small cap. So no one is saying that they are going to do this. I just think it's a great idea. And so far, everything is checking out for me at this point. Now they're launching Odin because Odin is the governance token in the Geo ecosystem. Geo is used to pay people. So it's basically like the coin, whereas Odin is the governance token. So if people want to get stuff done, then obviously they need to hold Odin. If they want to stake nodes and stuff like that, that's what this token is used for. Very low market cap of GODB, currently at 85 cents, and the market cap said 18.8 million dollars. So extremely low, one of those small caps, 
And here is their roadmap of what they're looking to achieve. So it's been 2018, 19, 20. You can go back and check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. In the H1, Geo launch on Binance Smart Chain, Pancake Swap, Whitelisted Geo to Odin Swap, and 65% token burn, which was the most recent thing that we've seen. So they're looking to get on more exchanges, but they are on Pancake Swap now. So that's GeoDB. I'll mention it in other videos, but I just wanted to give a quick update of that because it's something that we've covered on the channel before. Now to the big news on the cryptocurrencies, which I love, and that is Chainlink and Uniswap. You know, I was looking at Chainlink as a crypto I'm consolidating into when the market dips. So Chainlink and Uniswap are now on eToro. Basically, it just allows more people to see Chainlink and Uniswap. Not that you can really buy it and then transfer it off the platform, but it just exposes more people to these cryptocurrencies, just like they did with Dogecoin. More big news on Uniswap. Uniswap hits a record $10 billion in weekly trading volume, but that's not the end of it. There is a lot happening with the decentralized exchange of Uniswap. They've done half a trillion dollars this year alone or per year at the moment. It's absolutely wild. $10 billion in a week is over half a trillion in the year. Let's see if they can get to that point. I definitely think they will. And this is going to escalate the price of Uniswap once they get those gas fees right. And the version three comes out in a couple of weeks time. Doge Day was a dud. Dogecoin price dips 20% and it's dropped even further. It was a rough day for Dogecoin holders. Just had to add that, add that in there. Pardon the pun. It looks like it's coming to the end of its tether. All of the hype, all of the pump for Doge is just starting to wear a little bit thin. And I think that re that risk reward metric is just getting far too high to be buying in at the moment. And I think a lot of the smart money, if there is smart money in Dogecoin, is starting to see that. No offense meant. I definitely love the Doge. And it is definitely a project I buy when it is a hell of a lot cheaper because history has shown it will continue to pump time and time again, but generally not when it's at its all time highs. The recent pump we saw way out of this world, absolutely crazy. And congratulations to the guys who made a ton of money buying it around five or six cents. Biden administration developing cryptocurrency regulation, treasury to provide direction to SEC. Some people were mentioning this and they wanted some more comments, clarification on it. I think will be all right in the long term. In the short term, I think this will definitely scare the market once we get some sort of update about any sort of regulations that come out. But for now, there's not much else to it. Just regulation being developed by the administration. Don't have too much clear news about it. Now, if you haven't seen this already, Venmo launches crypto trading for 70 million users to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. So Really, this is just more exposure. Another 70 million people are seeing it. And now if it's not maybe the first time that they're seeing it, maybe not. Uh, basically, you normally want to see something a few times before you feel comfortable with it in order to purchase it yourself. So, you know, that's the way that happens with sales. If you only see it once, maybe you're not going to buy it. But the more times that you see it, the more times it's in your face, the more likely you are to purchase it. So that is really what this is about. These 70 million users could be the same as the guys that are on Square or Cash App or uh, Robinhood or anywhere else like that. But it's just that they're seeing it time and time again. So it's going to become more ingrained in their psyche. So they see the Doge, got to buy the Doge. Now you guys know I am bullish on Cardano making us some sweet gains in the profit space. But be wary of titles like this. Cardano on hiring spree as prepares to take the smart contracts thrown from Ethereum got to be clickbaity. It's got to be catchy so people can click on it and, and view it. But I don't think Cardano is going to take the smart contracts thrown from Ethereum. I think that's very slim. There, Obviously, it's a hedge if you want to buy Cardano in case it does happen. But I think it's very slim to be just taking the smart contracts thrown from Ethereum. No offense meant if you want to go off on your tangent in your primitive primal states, by all means, hit the comment section. But overall, I think we're going to make money from both of these projects. And long term, my money is definitely on Ethereum. I think we'll probably see some crash of Cardano after the bull market. But like you've seen on my channel, I think we're going to that three and five dollars for Cardano in this cycle. Obviously, three dollars is a lot closer and uh, I've definitely got my sights set on three dollars. I'll have a video coming out on Cardano this week. The bear market could be within a major bull market. So we could be within a very long term bull market. There has to be some pullbacks in order to get a long bull market. And here we've got latest Bitcoin crash shows buying the dip mentality among big investors. And there is a pretty strong difference 
between the pricing of uh, Bitcoin on Binance compared to Coinbase. So Binance, you're generally buying it with USDT and Coinbase, you're generally buying with USD. So big investors coming in with USD, big discrepancy, meaning they're really pumping up the price on Coinbase. So they're buying the dip. Big guys are buying the dip. Are you buying the dip on Bitcoin? Now I'll do another video on Cardano this week and focus, uh, focus on it in more detail, looking at all of its pairs. But for today's video, just having an update of the price and we are still well within our trading range of around a dollar to $1.50, putting in higher lows. Check that out. If you're really close, higher low, higher low, higher low, and again, a higher low. I won't be overly concerned if we do see a break of these lows, but we want to see a strong pushback into this region of a dollar, dollar five and then start to uh, consolidate again before we take out these highs. This is just pretty much straightforward, pure technical analysis. These lows look reasonably strong as we saw a good pump from them, but ain't over until the doge sinks. And so the levels of $1.25, I still think are looking pretty good. So we're gonna look at this in more detail in future videos, but Cardano looks like a nice accumulation zone, consolidation before we begin to push higher. Obviously the volume has to come in as we break higher, otherwise we could be looking for uh, further prices to go down. But I think lower prices are off the cards now as we continue to see consolidation at these levels. Uni, as we talked about early on, it's looking like it's also setting up. You can see it's a similar pattern to what we saw on Cardano. The tops are higher in this case and the lows are all higher as well. Volume is coming in on these dumps, but again, I want to see higher volume on the dumps or high volume as we break out. Low volume on either of these ends is not good for a continued bull market. So if you get low volume on the push out, it doesn't show that there's a lot of strength coming into the market. Low volume on these lows or the little spike lows probably means that we still have a little bit of time to consolidate before we take off again. But overall, Uni is definitely holding its position up above that, uh, call it around $25, $26 level after starting the year all the way back down at about five bucks. So pretty strong project, lots of massive fundamentals coming up. And I think that's probably what we are setting up for now for uni. Link broke to new all time highs recently, reconsolidating at all time high levels. Great signs, good volume as we begin to push out good volume on the lows as well. So it's getting bought up and this is solid good volume. You know, it's comparable to this previous bull market run that it saw from uh, uh, around late December, early January up to the highs of mid February. So this volume is looking very solid, especially on the push and the dump, still very good. Higher lows all getting bought up here. So Chainlink again is looking really good. And on the BTC chart, it's also looking good. I'll go into these in more detail in another video this week. And lastly, before we wrap up, Dogecoin. Now it did push to these high levels on the 20th of April and just fell short. So it's around that 44, 45 cent level. I do believe in a video yesterday, I talked about 49 cents, but the high I've got here on Binance is around 47 cents. Now it's just gonna depend on which exchange you're on. But this was a very similar pattern to what we saw on its first peak back in February, where it pushed to a high, came back, missed the high, and then came into a consolidation phase between four and a half and seven cents. So I'm not sure whether we'll see that again this time, just because we've had so many pumps on Doge, how much more energy is left out there, and especially because the volume is just starting to get less on these pumps. This first pump, we had a lot of volume, and now we're less volume, so it means there's less tokens, coins, changing hands. So we want to see a consolidation above here before we take off again, really simple stuff, but it, it requires patience, a lot of patience at this point. This took about two and a half months before it pumped again. So if that's to play out, at least allow possibly a month, but keep tracking it daily, put it on your watch list, look at TradingView, the link to this in the description down below if you want to uh, set some alerts for your Doge. Join me on Twitter if you haven't already, lots of updates coming over there on the channel here. So join us there. 6,000 going for 7,000 Twitter followers. I've got lots of news. Uh, Instagram, daily Q and A's, and you can check out my retirement fund portfolio over there. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you find some value from it, bell notification icon. Catch you at the next video or in the free newsletter, which just came out last week. The link to that is in the description. See you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.